Hello, Mebane. Uh, my name is Mitch McKinney, and I have the pleasure and honor of being selected as your police chief in July of 2023 as part of uh, a series that was started by my predecessor. Um, we are continuing to work to let you see your uh, community police officers. Those individuals that may knock on your door uh, or you may come down to our office or we may interact in a, in a community setting that are responsible for partnering with you and collaborating and supporting public safety, uh, community partnerships and relationships. And this entire series about getting to know our staff behind the badge um, really is an attempt to build relationships because when we build relationships, then we build trust, which also leads to partnerships and we can engage in a lot of great collaboration to more positively problem solve. And we can address issues that we may not be well aware of due to communication issues or just the fact that we haven't been exposed to it and really work with you to be a great uh, community policing partner. And that's our entire goal. So humanizing the badge is just that, trying to show you a little more about us from a less police side of uh, dialogue and more along the lines of letting you kind of get to know us in a more personal way. Um, we'll, we'll work through continuing to be consistent as we roll out these episodes called Beyond the Badge. My name is uh, Ryan Cook. I'm a sergeant on patrol with uh, Team C here at uh, Mebane Police Department. Um, I've been with the police department for 13 years, going on 14. Um, in my free time, I enjoy um, working out, lifting weights, um, hanging out with friends and family. Uh, my name is Bryce Sessoms. Um, I've been with the Mebane Police Department now for going on six years in February. Um, my day in, day out at work, I'm just a normal patrol officer. Um, answering calls for service, assisting the public any way I can. Hi, my name is Candace Hudson. I am the evidence technician at the Melvin Police Department. When I'm not at work, you can find me probably at home in my craft room doing some crafting. My name is Josh Hall. I'm a corporal on patrol. Um, outside of work, I enjoy outdoor activities such as hunting, fishing, metal detecting, uh, like going to the gym. What's the coolest thing you've ever found metal detecting? Uh, probably uh, a pocket watch I found on uh, actually on my family farm and it was from the early 1900s. Hey, my name is Brandon Coates um, with the Melbourne Police Department. I've uh, been in law enforcement for almost 12 years. I'm assigned to the K-9 division. Um, I uh, enjoy golfing and going to the gym on my days off. Uh, What's your favorite golf course to play at? Uh, favorite? Probably, uh, I'd say probably Mill Creek here in Mebane. Um, it's always been taken care of and it's a really nice course. Hey Mebane, uh, I am Mitch McKinney. I am your police chief, uh, as I said earlier, as of July the 24th of 2023. And this is my opportunity to talk to you a little bit more about my background, what, what I like, what I enjoy when I'm, when I'm outside of the office. And the key word is being outside. I love being outdoors. Um, I really enjoy camping, and this is a little unusual. I really like cold weather camping. Uh, it combines with one of my other favorite uh, pastimes, and that's reading. There is nothing better for me than kind of slowing things down, slowing that pace of life down, and you know, being out in nature, getting up early in the morning, having a great cup of hot coffee, and uh, digging into and getting uh, inside a great book. Um, I collect books, I love books. Uh, much to the chagrin of Tracy, uh, I've got a small library in a, a side bedroom at home and it's overflowing with books and she says I have a condition and I don't disagree with that but so far I'm managing it so uh, I, I really enjoy being uh, outdoors with my family um, I've got my stepson Caleb and my son Zane 
and Tracy. We've got two dogs at home, uh, a Pomeranian named Brutus and a pug named Daisy. And they keep me on my toes because of the grown and you know, we're mostly, you know, we're the old people at home. They're, they're bored with us. So they're off doing their, their thing. So I spend time with Tracy and taking care of the dogs and, and reading. My friends occasionally come over. I like hosting them uh, about once a month. We do a little bit of gaming, uh, which is not necessarily probably that unusual, uh, but I grew up in a period of time when like role-playing games were really coming out and just kind of gravitated toward the, the ability to get in there and be any, anybody you wanted to be and challenge your friends, the puzzles and the traps and all of that stuff that went along with it. So I've kept up with that as a side hobby. Uh, still got a great group of friends. We, we love playing everything from Shadowrun to Pathfinder to D&D. Uh, love all kinds of different genres of reading. Uh, don't really have any ever seen a book that I turned away from. Uh, do a little bit of writing, have uh, written a little bit of poetry. Some of it has gotten me a, a few accolades. Uh, so that's, that's just kind of me in a nutshell. Uh, and I am glad to share with you. Uh, I would encourage everybody to find some time just for you in these peaceful settings like this and slow down just a little bit when you can. The pace of life uh, is very, very fast. Uh, and that cultural phenomenon has continued to increase. It's good for you to take a little time and a little bit of mindfulness for yourself, be a little selfish, uh, build in a little bit of time when you can to do some of those fun things that, that are just for you that you can enjoy. So it'll be a po positively charming time, I guarantee you. You mentioned poetry. If somebody wanted to read one of your poems, where would they be able to go to find one? Or what is it titled? So, um, one of the questions uh, that you, you asked about poetry, uh, I competed in a poetry contest during Martin Luther King uh, week in Chapel Hill, and that was an opportunity for me to kind of step outside of my comfort zone and share some of the poems that I had previously written, and I, I took that challenge on and uh, drafted an original poem about Martin Luther King. Junior, it took all the, the letters of his name and each stanza in the poem uh, was, uh, began with one of the letters in his name and I ended up uh, being selected as the, the winner of that prize. Uh, and I'm happy to share that with, with the town. I can uh, put that on the website. It's a, I will humbly say it was a pretty, pretty cool uh, experience and uh, kind of let you get inside my head about how I think about leadership and community connection and community sharing. So I'm, I'm happy to share that. It's called In the Name of the King uh, and uh, happy to share that with the community. Mm, I'm gonna say blunt, probably because I'm straightforward, super realist, not really um, fairy tale life. <laughs> uh, probably like a jokester or comedian. Uh, probably humble. Um, I'm pretty laid back. Um, uh, you know, kind of enjoy spending time with the family and doing things around the house. So, you know, I'd probably say, you know, probably humble. I'm gonna say I'm reliable. That would that would that would be my word. Um, some of my friends probably wouldn't say that, but I like to think of myself that way. Mm. <laughs> Uh, well, fran friends or family see me in a, uh, another side um, that, that I don't get to show at work a lot. Um, so I would just say outgoing, um, you know, just as I'm kind of more reserved when I'm at work uh, and, you know, when I'm around people that I've known, you know, basically my whole life, uh, you know, I, I get to loosen up a little bit more and it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Ooh, what moves am I not known for is the question. Uh, anytime some biker shuffle or something gets thrown out there when I'm out having a good time, you know, I'm always, uh, I'm always right in there. Uh, yeah, Are you I'm, a TikTok I'm, dancer? Uh, 
uh, one video has uh, has went pretty viral from a, a national night out a couple years back. Uh, you know, we, I was just having fun. I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> oh, uh, mm, that's that's a really good question. Believe it or not, um, I would say uh, I, I don't know. I I can. I know the traditional waltz, uh, which is, you know, coming back in style with Dancing in the, with the Stars. But, uh, you know, I, I grew up in that generation when break dancing was original. Uh, I did a little bit of that and kind of uh, a hybrid between that and what you might see uh, the early NSYNC bands and, and Justin Timberlake doing a little bit of pop and lock. Believe it or not, I, I might do a little bit of that. But I can dance. I don't know, I'm a crowd dance kind of guy. Everybody gets out there, you know, cha-cha slide, you got, I'm in for it. Uh, I'm done, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really do that anymore. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, <laughs> we'll just, um, so I guess Magic Mike was big a couple years ago when I got married. Um, so uh, at my wedding, I did the, kind of a little Magic Mike dance for my wife. Uh, <laughs> with uh, the whole garter toss thing, so. Mmm, I wouldn't say it was the move, it's more of the facial, uh, the faces I make. <laughs> what kind of facials are you working with? It's more so like the tongue out and... <laughs> uh, when my kids were smaller, uh, I would make, uh, just wouldn't make breakfast together and I would make these little um, like egg muffin cups that you know, just make them in a uh, muffin pan with uh, just bread egg cheese and like bacon so okay. it was, they enjoyed them on Christmas morning they look for it um, we like to um, eat Christmas breakfast together um, not just in my home but like my whole family um, so we all get together and after the kids wake up and unwrap gifts we'll eat breakfast and so I guess you know coming from you know I guess you know two different families right my wife and and, and mine um, we basically we just get with our our family um, with on, on Christmas and normally we'll go to my mom's house for you know dinner uh, Christmas Eve um, and then we do her uh, her family on uh, lunchtime Christmas Eve and we might have to you know split my maybe my dad's family or uh, that on uh, Christmas Day so I won't say like I 100% enjoy uh, decorating a tree and stuff like that, but I think uh, one family tradition would be um, going to go like out of town to get a live tree. I just you know that's always just like a cool family thing. Um, so every year, my family, my dad's side of the family, we get together, exchange presents, um, like probably like everybody else does. Um, this year, my wife's family they do Christmas cookies uh, like Christmas Eve that weekend. So I actually get to partake in that this year because I don't have to work. So that'll be a new tradition. Hopefully that'll be a, I know it's a good, good time. So I'm excited for it. Everybody's like positivity for the most part. Uh, I mean, of course the lights and the decorating hip helps it out but just everybody wanting to give back and to help somebody else really just coming together just spending time with everyone since you know they're older and I don't really see them a whole lot so just getting to spend time with them oh, I mean still the gifts nah uh just the you know just the family time um that's obviously you know when we do have it uh like I said, I've been in this career for 12 years, and I think maybe out of the 12, uh, I've had Christmas Eve and day off maybe three times. Uh, you know, I've, I've always, um, you know, I've never been the one to take off. I've always kind of let the other guys do it, so, but it works out. Right now, my favorite Christmas movie is The Christmas Chronicles. The first one, not the second one. Uh, I would say probably Die Hard because, uh, you know, it's, it's a Christmas movie. But uh, second, probably uh, Home Alone. The first one? 
Christmas is one of the sequels. Ah, uh, the first one. Uh, it's got to be Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2. 3 is not bad, but Christmas doesn't feel like Christmas without, without watching those. Um, I'll have to say my favorite Christmas movie is The Polar Express. Um, just the thought of believing, um, just believing in something positive um, instead of all the negativity in the world. Favorite Christmas movie? Probably be the National Lampoon's um, Christmas Vacation. If uh, you get out in the community and see me, please come up and, and talk to me. We can talk about reading, dancing moves, uh, or whatever is just on your mind. I'm, I'm really committed to meeting people where they are and getting out and, and making community connections. So uh, no, uh, no topic I'm gonna shy away from. Uh, us as police officers, um, God, we're people too. Uh, you know, I put on this uniform to do a job, uh, but at the end of the day, I go home and I'm, we're just like you guys. We're just like everybody else. Uh, I have a home life, family, and you know, that's just, you know, this is what I wake up in the morning to do. Um, last words or thoughts. Uh, if you have evidence, call the Melbourne Police Department so we can get it back to you so it doesn't get destroyed. Um, yeah, just like I said, if you, if you see me out, if you see us sitting in our cars, you know, come up, say hey. Um, we all, you know, like, like to talk to people, so. Uh, no, just, you know, there's a lot of stuff that people see about the police department and, uh, you know, police departments across the nation. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, we're Mevin. We're positively charming. We like to treat people that way. So just come up, talk to us. We'll, you know, try to answer your questions the best way we can. That's a wrap on our latest episode of Beyond the Badge. We hope you enjoyed it. We encourage you to share this with your neighbors and your friends, and we look forward to future episodes. Uh, and we'll be consistent with this, and thank you for your time and attention. It is much appreciated. And since it's a holiday season, I want to wish everybody in the community, uh, our business leaders, our faith-based leaders, and visitors to the Mevin community, a positively charming, happy holiday season.